Mo Show, all the top tunes. Up. Hey, Mulligan. What are you doing? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we give them just what they get in the big house. It's the Joey and Rory Show. Brought to you each week by Crosley Radio. With Wynn Marble, Marcy Gary, Heidi Feek, Bradley Walker, and me. Everybody keeps asking folks, are they having a boy or are they having a girl? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's, uh... It's, uh, it's time for the next song. Here they are, Joey and Rory. When that whistle blows at five, grab your coat, honey, don't wait. Jump in your old truck and drive. Yeah, get on. Been working over time. Now it's time to let it go. I'll pour you a glass of wine and turn the lights down good and low. We'll put a haggard record on, and in no time we'll both be wearing nothing but a song. So bring your loving home to me. Bring your loving, your sweet, sweet loving. Don't need nothing but your kissing and hugging, you see. Bring your loving home to me. And when the time is feeling right, we'll just two step down the hall. is perfect for this episode as Rory is going to be in New York City and I'll be waiting for him at home. So bring that love and on home to me, baby. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. My name's Rory. I greet him at the door when I ain't washing dishes or sweeping the floor. I'm a real hard worker and I'm hardly ever late. And in the last two weeks, I've only broke one plate. Y'all come on in. Sit wherever you want. At the end of the garden season, the one thing that we have left is okra. I love okra. And that's where I can find Marcy in my garden. That's the only time I'll find her in my garden, <laughs> is picking okra. And she that's doesn't... hard to pick, too. Well, you don't plant it. No. You don't weed it. But by golly, she'll come and pick the okra. And I'll eat it. <laughs> well, we love fried okra. We love grilled okra on yes, the grill. That's fantastic, mm -hmm. too. 
But we have found something now that actually a friend of ours gave us this recipe, and they're mm. called okra fritters. And so at the end of the season, when we have all this abundance of okra and you're tired of doing it every right, other way, right. we started making it this way. Mm -hmm. And another reason that you were looking too for a Friday night appetizer. Yes, it's, yeah, and it worked out great because, I mean, we're, we make a lot of okra fritters on Friday night, and mm -hmm. it's a great appetizer. Now, we can't do it all year, of course. We're doing fried green tomatoes right now, which is really great. But these worked out to be great, a great appetizer, and people love them. Yes, I mean, do. I'm back there cooking, and they're like, we want another order, uh, you know, appetizer. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't even get my catfish done. <laughs> I'm working on appetizers. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started, so speaking of working on. So, Marcy's going to go ahead and cut this okra up. Mm -hmm. We're going to use about a pound of okra. Um, we're not going to cut a pound right now, because we only have about four minutes to do this. <laughs> yeah. But the good thing about this recipe is you can kind of tailor make it just a little bit how you like it. So we're gonna do some onions in with our okra. Just about a half a cup of diced onions. Um, here we have pretzel crumbs. Now we use the pretzel crumbs for our catfish batter. And the calls for cornmeal in the recipe, but Marcy and I are both are allergic right. to corn. So we thought, hey, let's do pretzels and see. And, and it works out great. It brings a little bit extra saltiness yeah. too, so yeah. I like that. Yeah. And then we're adding just a little bit of flour in with the mix. And okra, you know, I'm sure most of you who are watching love okra, or you know where okra comes from because you're farmers or in the ag world, but it's slimy. It has a texture to it that's kind of slimy, but this is perfect because people who have texture issues can eat this because it's so good. Add an egg to it, and then we're just gonna mix that up really good. You're gonna mm -hmm. go ahead and grease your pan, actually put oil in your pan. You can stir that for me, Mars, if mm -hmm. you would. Oh, these are so good. People love these. They are really good. This is what it's gonna look like. See how chunky it is? It's kind of like corn fritters right. or hush puppies. It's gotta be really greens. thick because you wanna make a little you know, patty out of it. So we've just got a cast iron skillet here. We've heated our oil in it, and we're just gonna drop these in by about the tablespoon and a half or two, mm -hmm. however big you wanna make them. Right, and you're just gonna fry them until they're a nice golden brown, and then you're gonna flip them, and then do the same thing on the other side. They're so good. Some people like, I mean, Roy likes things extra crispy. Yeah. So he'll make his extra dark. I actually do ours a little bit more crispier too. I like them like that too. Yeah. And uh, you won't have to salt and pepper them when they come out because Joe took care of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna let those fry up. When they are fried, look Isn't that how beautiful? gorgeous those are. And we serve them with a little bit of ranch dressing yeah. on the side. Yeah, which you don't have to, but a lot of people like their ranch. I bet blue cheese would be good. I like blue cheese. Oh, yeah. Even though I'm not supposed to have blue cheese. It's yeah, really that good. would be good. That would be good. So, the lady who gave us this recipe, we invited her to come back today and taste these and see how ours compare to hers. So, Miss yep. Kara, come on over and see Hi. us. How, how are you? Are you? Good. So good to see you. Good. I'm glad we're anxious to taste these made with the pretzels. Good. Yeah. Yes. It's really yes. good. It really is. Well, I'm just so thankful that you gave us this recipe. I don't know if you want some ranch dressing. Do you on there use or not. a ranch on yours? No. I didn't. You don't. No. Well, sometimes they're so good you don't have to use yeah. anything. Oh, but yeah. Roy I'm, loves dipping sauce. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if there's ranch, she's mm. gonna put it on pizza. Are they or anything yes. else. Oh, good. Good. With the pretzel. Do you oh, like good. that? Good. Very good. Well, thank you for sharing the recipe. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. glad you like it. It's been making our Friday nights exceptional, especially yes. the seasonal when yes. we have the okra. And it's been making me happy too because I love okra. <laughs> <laughs> well, good having you here. Thank you. Enjoy Thanks that. For okay. All thank right. You. Thanks so much. <laughs> They're great. They are. Well, there you go, folks. That's our okra fritters right here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives one bite at a time. Be sure to check out all of Crosley's great turntables at joeyandrory.com. And now to perform for you, a not so oldie, but a real darn goodie. Here's Rory. There's a storm across the valley, clouds are rolling in. The afternoon is heavy on your shoulder There's a truck out on the four lane a mile or so away 
And the whining of his wheels just makes it colder He's an hour away from riding On your prayers up in the sky And ten days on the road are barely gone There's a fire softly burning And supper's on the stove But it's the light in your eyes That makes it warm And hey, it's good to be back home again Sometimes the soul falls like a long lost friend Yes and hey it's good to be back home again Well there's all the news to tell him How'd you spend your time And what's the latest thing the neighbors say And your mother called last Friday Sunshine made her cry And you felt the baby move just yesterday And hey, it's good to be back home again Sometimes this old farm feels like a long Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again And oh, the time that I can lay this tired old body down And feel your fingers feather soft upon me The kisses that I live for, the love lights my way the happiness that living with you brings me it's the sweetest thing I know of just spending time with you. It's a little thing that makes a house a home. Like a fire softly burning and supper on the stove. And the light in your eyes that makes me warm. Hey, it's good to be back home again Sometimes this so far feels like a long lost friend Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home After four seasons, I'm kind of running out of material here. But our Wynn Barble, he's still going strong. Take it away, Wynn! <laughs> Hanky Bubba worked down here at the textile mill, and <clears throat> I seen Hank the other day, and he said, you know, they got laid off, and they went down to the unemployment agent. Well, Hank went in first, and the guy told him, says, uh, what's your occupation? Hank says, well, I'm a panty stitcher. He says, I sold the elastic into the panties down at the mill. Old boy looked it up, and he said, well, that's unskilled labor. He said, I'll give you $150 a week unemployment pay. Well, Bubba come in, he said, occupation? Bubba said, diesel fitter. 
Old boy said, all righty. He looked it up and he said, that's skilled labor. He said, you'll get $500 a week unemployment. Pay. Well, he left and, and, and Bubba found out that Hank was making more than three times what he was making. He come running back in there. He said, how come he's getting all this money and I ain't? And he said, well, he's, got, he's skilled labor, you know. He said, diesel fitter. He said, that ain't skilled labor. He says, after I sew the lining in the panties, he stretches them out with his thumbs and says, yep, diesel fitter. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. You go from rags to riches. In December, I was asked to be part of the CMA Songwriter Series, a concert series that showcases hit Nashville songwriters in different cities around the U.S. and the world. And this time, it was going to be in New York City. Since Joey was seven months pregnant and wasn't interested in doing any more traveling for a while, I kissed my bride goodbye and boarded the flight to the Big Apple. And though she wasn't coming on this trip, I was far from being by myself. Our daughter Heidi and her husband Casey came, along with our manager Aaron, director Gabe, and songwriting buddy James Slater. Joey and I have been to New York quite a few times and it's always fun. But it's never more fun than it is during the Christmas holidays. It seems like the whole city comes alive, just like how you see it in movies like Miracle on 34th Street. There's so much to see, and during the few days I was there, we tried to catch it all. We went to some of the most famous places, like Macy's and Rockefeller Center and Times Square. We walked through Central Park, and we ate wonderful meals all over the city. We even went to a Wicked Broadway show. Awesome! That was an incredible show. I was the only person in here in the overalls. <laughs> That's a fact. At a local place called Joe's Pub, me and my buddy James Slater, along with Dina Carter, James Otto, and Bob DePiro, played four sold-out shows to New York City country music fans. It's so neat to see so many people in such a big city who love country music as much as we do. She got a spray-on tan and a belly button ring. Now, I'm not sure when we'll get the chance to go back there again, but it was such a blessing to be in New York City during Christmas time and part of those shows. Check out the CMA Songwriter Series info online, and if you get a chance, be sure to come to one of their shows in the U.S. or around the world. Just where I come from, it's who I am. I've tried to settle down, but I don't think I can. Cause I'm the daughter, the son of a railroad man. I was born with this faraway look in my 
It runs deep like the spikes in a railroad tie. You can try to change me, but I don't think you can. I'm the daughter, the son of a railroad man. And in the morning, I'll be leaving. You wake up and find me gone. But till then, the reason I can't stay in one place long. I'm the daughter, the son of a railroad man. My home's a thousand places all across this land. You've done nothing wrong, boy, please understand. I'm the daughter, the son of a railroad man. Now, I'm not proud I'm leaving you, but I'm proud I am. The daughter, the son, the oldest daughter of the only son. The daughter of the son of a railroad man. Thank you. Well, it was sure fun in the big city, but I'm glad to be back home at the farm. I'm glad you're back too. Planting the garden and watching it grow. Keeping it country on the radio, that's important to me. That's important to me. Don't forget about what's most important to you. I'm Joey. And I'm Rory. Tune in again next week. Same place, same time. Yeah.